What's up, guys? We finally figured out how to do the YouTube live. We're here with uh, Joe. I was, I was going to say Joe Compass, but it's Joe Kotosh with Compass That's right. and Hilton Highland and PSG back there. This is the first time this car has been full of people. I love it. All right, so we're going to we, we want to take you guys on a tour of our weekly Brokers Open every Tuesday from 12 to 2. We go out and look at some sick properties in Bel Air, in Beverly Hills, in Hollywood Hills. Today we're going to hit up <clears throat> Truesdale Estates. We're gonna, it's the most expensive <coughs> price per square foot um, in all of the city. Uh, the, the only one that tops it is going to be Malibu Colony, which is at like 5,000 a square foot, which is absolutely nuts. So we got Joe, like I said, from Chicago. Um, compass, we have. He's about to crash my car or ding my rims. I can just feel it. Maybe. Uh, right here, right here. Huh? I said I can do that for you. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. Uh, we got Katie Jack back there. Say hi. Hi. We got Tara Dustar. We got Alex Rubo. We got Ben. What's your last name, Ben? Sharamza. Sharamza. Yeah. Our, our, the, Tar, the, PS, the PSG no. intern. All right, so what's your favorite part about going to uh, Brokers Opens? Oh, man, that's easy. The amazing yeah. houses. Yes. Yeah. We are We're lucky, right? We're looking at multi-million dollar homes. See all these smaller homes and lifestyles. And views. Imagine if you're doing a Brokers Open in a ranch at Cucamonga. <laughs> uh, boring. Boring. <laughs> oh, that's your hometown, okay? It is my hometown. Let me talk smack. It is my hometown. <laughs> hometown of CJ Stroud, too. I still, I still love you, Rancho. You're watching over there. We got two people on, guys. Who's watching? If you guys are watching, send us uh, uh, a chat and ask us any questions. Again, uh, we're going on a broker's open. I'm, I'm going to give you a little live shot of Cannon Drive in Beverly Hills. This street is known for all the real estate offices. You have... Hilton Highland, Cobalt Banker, North and South. You have Rodeo Realty. You have West Side Estate Agency. You have Keller Williams. Um, not Compass. They're not cool enough to be on the street. Um, Over on Wilshire, right? Huh? On Wilshire. On Wilshire, yeah, yeah. And and uh, and Rodeo. Wilshire, Wilshire and, 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 and Rodeo. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, what's going on right here. This is a live shot at Cannon. This is about <laughs> two blocks from Rodeo Drive, not Rodeo. Um, and yeah, so we like to go to uh, Brokers Opens every every Tuesday from 12 to 2. It starts at 11, but we go from 12 to 2 because we're, we're making our phone calls, or at least I hope we're making our phone calls. Um, <laughs> and uh, we look at some really cool houses. We take some <clears throat> some footage of the houses for our reels. Um, you know, it also keeps us up to date on what's going on in the Uber luxury market so that we can talk to clients about, you know, the houses that, that we're looking at and also I identify houses that we may feel uh, can work for, for our clients. But I think the most important thing is just to go and look at the inventory and see what's out there, right? What are the craziest things you've seen in a open house at Brokers Caravan? Who's going to start? Let's talk about the one we saw the other week. Ooh, that was that pretty was cool. Amazing. It was what, like $55 million? 49? 49. Oh, yeah, 49. 49. Yeah, 47 or something. That's right. The one on Butler? Look at that. Yeah. I'm just going to stay on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Well, as they're doing that, I want to show you guys a view of one of the most famous streets. Look at this. Palm Tree Line Street. This is Beverly Hills right here. That's the epitome of Beverly Hills, just driving down the street. You'll see people in the middle of the street all the time taking selfies and influencers in their, in their bikinis uh, with, uh, with this, with this uh, background. All right, so the craziest thing I've seen at a Brokers Open, well, yeah, I think last week was a pretty good example. There was a sports court with Kobe's face on it. That was pretty cool. There was an amazing spa room with uh, massage tables. There was... Um, um, a car gallery that you can fit probably like 20 cars. There was a cool aquarium. Golf simulator. 
a yeah. golf simulator, yeah. Multiple bars. Multiple <laughs> bars, yeah. Multiple bars. It was, oh, the wine dispenser, that was amazing. The wine dispenser, that was pretty cool. And um, Paul, what, what are these houses on this street run for? Okay, so this is, we're, we're in the flats right now, and the cheapest house on the flats is going to be, you're looking at uh, five, five and a half for like a teardown. And then it goes up to $30 million. And what, uh, as a uh, uh, agent outside of the market, uh, what is that uh, per square foot? Because so much of LA is priced uh, by the square foot. Right? I know. Yeah. So that's a that's a great question, Joe. Um, when you're looking at a teardown, you look at the price per square foot for the land. So it's land square foot. And then when you're looking at um, a house that can be lived in by by a uh, a primary user, then you're looking at the actual living space. So it all depends. I mean. You got from teardown prices to, um, let's make, let's make it right here, yeah, to, um, let's right here, to, um, houses that, you know, can be lived in, but need a, a remodel to brand new development. So they, they range from, you know, 13, 1400 a foot up to 2000 a foot. It all depends, but definitely over a thousand a foot. That's the standard in all of LA nowadays, even in, in areas, um, you know, 20, 30 minutes from here. So we're going to make it right here. And we're going to take you by the Beverly Hills Hotel, the famous Beverly Hills Hotel, where they have the, the, the polo lounge. Um, they have, what else do they have over there? What are the cool things they have over there? Cabana Club. The Cabana Club. That's our favorite spot. The PSG girls. The PSG. Know. I've never been to the Cabana Club. Yeah, I don't get any invites over here, you know. As well, a team leader, it's just well, like. Can you can you confirm the rumors uh, that you like to frequent uh, the Waldorf Astoria and stuff? Yeah, I, I'm there all the time, and I'm picking, you know, I'm I'm picking up on clients over there. Picking up on clients. You like that one? I'm picking up on clients. If you're watching this, clients, babe. Um, so we're making it right over here. Let me show you the famous Beverly Hills Hotel beautiful it's they they've kept the same design it's really cool it's like it's iconic great location um and a, a lot of people that that live in the area love to come here and go for lunch or get a cabana for the day at the pool and hang out so yeah what do you make a left here joe joe's our chauffeur so that's right he's our expensive oh. chauffeur from chicago that's right so how does uh, chicago compare to la in terms of what just everything, like real estate, uh, landscape, people. So I think <laughs> Chicago is definitely more diverse in terms of the housing. Okay. Uh, we have uh, condos, high rises, townhomes, single families, investments, all sorts of uh, you know different types, and uh, and price point obviously is uh, is more of an entry level compared to uh, what you see out here in Beverly Hills. Uh, you know, high-end luxury is probably going to be north of $2 million. High-end? High-end, two to $3 million, okay. depending on what you're looking for. But then, again, that's also based on are you getting a condo, uh, high-end single-family homes in Lincoln Park, which would be kind of our highest-end uh, neighborhood, are going to be closer to uh, about six, uh, six or seven uh, million if it's on a double lot, and probably uh, three to four million if it's on a single lot. Okay, cool. Look at this hotel, guys. Beautiful. So we're going to go straight. This this section, just north of Sunset, is going to have all the big compounds in Beverly Hills. So south of Sunset is the flats. This this area doesn't really have a name, um, but it's in the hillier part of Beverly Hills. But I would say most of Beverly Hills is flat. So I'm not sure what it's going to be hills. Any uh, comments on that? Yeah, they do have flats. No, but the city is called Beverly Hills. I guess it just sounds nicer. Sounds nicer. Yeah. Why did did Beverly Hills, like, get such a big name? Like, what was it? I think I'm going to have to give it credit to Jews. What do you think? Yeah. To Jews. Wow. Guys. I mean, we built it. I'm glad that we're on a YouTube live, and we're just... Thank God Tara is a Jew, so... And also Ben. It's a good thing. Jeez. I'm giving credit to my people. I'm, just, I'm very sorry. These are not my agents. I'm not. I'm not These sure. Are, I'm not sure what I got into, but uh, I know. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> now, now you're on this video. That's right. <laughs> Jesus. What's wrong with that? I think we did a damn good job. Persian guy. Persian. Persian. Yeah, the Persian.
Katie. Yeah, Alex, I'm sorry. No That's your friend. You guys hang out with her. I don't hang out with her. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so these are where you have some of the most expensive houses in Beverly Hills. Um, just, just north of Sunset. Not the highest price per square foot, but definitely the biggest lots. And the most privacy. Location-wise, it's not, it doesn't have good walkability, like the flats, uh, which is close to the Golden Triangle. The Golden Triangle is, um, is where they have all the shops and restaurants and whatnot. What are your favorite restaurants in in the Golden Triangle, guys? You know, I haven't been to a lot of them over there, but we did just go to the Beverly Hills Hotel outside the Triangle, yeah. and we loved that. Polo Lounge was great. Um, Sorry, yeah, I want to go with like a classic. Is there one of our school? I don't think so. But they have what? They have um, they have uh, Spagos, Mastros, Mastros good, huh? Huh? Wally's is good. Mr. Chow. Um, I'm looking for I'm looking for di uh, dining res uh, recommendations uh, as well, guys. So tonight, tomorrow, let me know where uh, where I should uh, check out. What kind of food do you want? don't care <laughs> so star platinum says why do people like the flat so much uh when you get great views from the the bird streets that's a great question so i'll i'll, I'll answer that um so the bird streets is a different it's like a completely different community and feel the bird streets really is like a sexy place views modern houses um right out from West Hollywood. Um, so a, lo a lot of the clubs and bars are just right down the street. The Flats is more of like a family community. I'm not saying there's no families in the Burst Streets, there are, but the Flats really is more of like a family feel to it. Um, and it's mostly, the, all the lots are flat, right? So the Burst Streets, most of the lots are either hillside lots or small flat pads. Um, and Beverly Hills, hold, uh, sorry, Beverly Hills School District is one of the best, right? They all have like 10 of 10 ratings from you know elementary to middle to high school. So I think that's the biggest difference. And the fact that it's also the city of Beverly Hills, so you have access to the, the Beverly Hills um, Police Department and Fire Department. The Bird Streets is city of LA. So even though it's Hollywood Hills, it's actually city of LA. Any other comments on, on that question from, uh, see, who was that? That was... Top chat, uh, live chat, all messages. I mean, also, that was from Star Platinum. You can also tell that Beverly Hills is just a lot closer than most cities, yeah. and I think the city makes a point of doing that because of you know how expensive it is to live here. Yeah. It's, you know, expensive. That's a really good point, you know, um, and I think that's why you know Santa Monica also is one of the cleaner cities um, in the West Side because everything else is all surrounded by City of LA, um, and they, like you said, they do really take care of the city. And make sure they, they, they keep it clean. Um, although we're seeing that the that the drought is not only affecting California but also Beverly Hills. There used to be a nice green patch of grass. Now it's uh, dry. That's because we're having a, a, a drought. If you guys have any other questions um, about our driving tour, plus brokers open with PSG, plus uh, Windy City agents, um, let us know. Uh, what else should we talk about, guys? I had somebody come to the open house the other day asking about post office and why it's desirable, why it's not versus the flats. What would you say to that? Uh, why it's desirable? Or just like a description of what it is. I feel like people don't understand what post office is. They just know about the flats. Correct. So, yeah, that's really in interesting. So there's a part of Beverly Hills that is 90210 zip code, but it's city of L.A. That's called Beverly Hills Post Office. Um and you can make a next left. And um, so that is, again, city of L.A., so it's like, you know, Hollywood Hills. But the location is sandwiched in between the Bird Streets as well as um, as Beverly Hills. So it's right in, inside there. And the school district isn't as good, again, because it's part of L.A. Uh, Unified School District. And this and, is the pantry right here? Right? Yes. Yeah, so let me show you guys. This is, uh, you got the Soho House right up there. And you have the Sierra Towers right here. And the Sierra Towers are really, really uh, uh, popular condo complex. 
Cher has a place there. Elton John has a place there. To finish answering your question, there's a very popular community in BHPO, and that's called Beverly Park. You have, you know, Sly, uh, Sly Sloan just sold his place there. We we sold it. Um, our uh, our brokerage right here. Uh, uh, what Eddie Eddie uh, Eddie Murphy has a place there. Magic Johnson has a place there, and a lot of big you know entrepreneurs have, have places there. I think I make a left here. Yeah, left here, first right. Um, so that's a really popular community. It's split up into two different communities, north and south. Uh, north is more expensive than south, and north is also bigger, bigger houses and bigger areas. So you gotta make it right here. So, Joe, give me a second to slow down right here. I'm going to show you guys the entrance of Truesdale Estate. You can see the sign right there. That's Truesdale Estate. This is the most expensive price per square foot in all of Los Angeles. Right here. Besides uh, Melvin Colony. Why is that? Why is it the most expensive? Um, that's a good question. Uh, so, I think... I think an important factor to look at is if you're looking at a one story, a two story, a three or four story house, what, what, how, how many, so, so the reason why this is so expensive is it's only, the only allowed to have one story houses here and you can't block a view and you can't block a view here. So, um, you can go, yeah, in a basement if you want to have a basement, but ground level only one. So this was built back in the fifties by Paul Truesdale. Um, and uh, you have very famous architects that have um, designed a lot of the houses here. And, you know, we have, you know, Frank Sinatra used to live here. Elvis Presley used to live here. A lot of celebrities live here. Great location. City of Beverly Hills. You get the views. And it's directly up the hill. So, like, if you're in the Hollywood Hills, besides the Bird Streets, but even the Bird Streets, you're not going to get streets like this. Like, these are really nice streets going up the hill. If you're in the Hollywood Hills you're not going to get this wide of a street. You're going to get a really narrow street with a bunch of bumps and holes, cars everywhere, and it's just not as nice. Again, that's the city of L.A. That's what makes this so expensive is the fact that it's just much nicer, right? Um, and it's a... It's a what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm, I'm going to show you the most expensive sell in Beverly Hills, $70 million house sold by Hilton and Highland a couple of years ago. The, the developer was Bruce Murkowski, and he is a, a New York fashion guy. Actually, I repped him with my old partner, Chad Rogers, on a couple of sales when he first moved to L.A., um, and then he developed this, this house. So we're, we're going to go all the way to the top, and then uh, we'll show you some views. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Let's see here. For putting us to blunt. Safety first. Um, what else? guys about the Truesdale Estates, Joe? Uh, yeah, how many uh, homes are sold uh, a year in Truesdale Estates? I would say, you know, obviously, depending on the market, but I would say in between um, 15 to 20 houses. There's not a ton of houses uh, for sale here at any given uh, point, um, but there are a lot of developers looking for uh, teardowns and, and building houses like this. That's a, that's a brand new build right there. And those are the ones that are going for, you know, 4,500 a square foot. Wow. Yeah. That's not a brand new development, but it's newer. It's nice. Again, all single story, a lot of mid-century. Like, that's a cool mid-century right there. And most of these have views. Um, so they're just kind of stacked one uh, against the other going up the hill. Um, and right now, we're actually going to go to a new development that's been on the market for over a year. And um, that's really, I mean, it's, we got, we've seen it already, right? Alex and I have seen it. I think Tara's seen it as, as well. Yeah. And we're going to show it to you if we're allowed to go in. We'll so, ask the broker so if we're Paul, allowed to go in. So, how do, uh, how do you handle a, a property that's been listed for over a year? So that's a great question. And the reason why I know Joe is because Joe and I role play for expired canceled listings. And a lot of our business comes from that. And I think that's probably the hardest thing to do as an agent is, is calling these expires because they, they get a ton of calls. But I think my my pitch to expires is obviously I have a, I have a track record. But before I had I had a track record of, of selling expires, it was basically 
you know, your, your, your previous agent didn't do a good job, right? Because it didn't sell. So there's three reasons, three reasons why a house does not sell price marketing agent. Two of those is the agent basically, right? If there's no, if there's bad marketing, bad exposure to the house, it's the agent's fault. Price could be the agent's fault. You know, a lot of times these agents are not being honest with their clients, but not always. Sometimes the clients just don't want to, you know, sell it at a, at a price that is um, at market value. So I think the pitch is, you know, we, we go in there, we make changes, we rebrand and, and we sell it. Right. And we've done about 10 to 12 in the last, like 24 months, um, expired houses. We sold every single one of them. So put your phone on silent, please. We're on a, we're on a YouTube live. Apologies, Paul. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's the pitch. Should we do a little role play? Uh, we can. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get to the house. Would you like Joe, to? Joe is the, actually the best at like yeah. role playing. Should, yeah. should we, should yeah, we, we park should. right here? And... Um, yeah, or on the other side. Actually, I don't know if we can park on the other side. Yes, you can park, you can park right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we just got to our open house, so we're going to... Um, we you just can't park in front of a... Uh, in Chicago, you can. You can? You can park anywhere. Chicago? You can park anywhere you need to in Chicago. <laughs> the well, only thing I ask is that you don't um, scratch up my rooms. That's the only thing. <laughs> Anything else you can do. I heard do something about know. Alex no. having scratched up your rooms before. Is that right? No, I didn't say that. She she could have if it was she was driving my car. Thank God it shouldn't should have grabbed my car. So is it a park? Yeah. All right, cool. keys. You, All right, you so we're gonna go look at a fifteen million dollar house. Alright, you Ben, you're the, you're the recorder. No, 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 he's, he's a guy. Have a girl do it. It's reality. Alright, so look at the views from here. So those, those two towers over there, that's in Century City. So, uh, as you can see, this road is super, super, like, wide. You don't get that in the Hollywood Hills. You got parking on both sides. You got plenty of, uh, of, of street uh, to, to drive up. And this road goes straight up. In the Bird Streets, it's like this, or Sunset Plaza, it's like this. Um, and check out this house, 15 million bucks, but it's been on the market for a while. And we're gonna go check it out. Why do you think this one hasn't sold? Can't tell um, until you're inside. Yeah. Oh, we'll let's, see. Let's take a let's take a look at it first, and then we'll give you. So let's just wait here, uh, because we want to get permission from the uh, from the broker if it's okay for us to shoot a YouTube live. We're good. All right. Cool. Good exposure. <laughs> All right. I'll follow you guys. All right. So let's get the the setup on it. Okay. So I'm not sure where we left off, and, and we'll just walk around. Is that on? So now it is not. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the girls like to shoot a lot of reels. Tara, for sure, is the reels expert. She gets a lot of views on her reels. But this has been on the market for over a year. Um, and I think it's okay. Is it, is it live? I think it's live. All right, we'll, we'll try. Oh, there that. we go. All is right. it working? All right, cool. So. Let's check it out, shall we? Who's gonna give us a tour? All right, let's just do one agent and then give us a tour of each room and tell us a pair of things okay. about each room. All right? I mean, I thought really... she's like, okay. Alex, you start. Okay. Um... So, Alex Rubeau. Okay. Better play at the Brokers Open. <laughs> Alright, that's good. 
good. That was good. Bravo. That's that's our intern Ben, man, playing playing on the piano. Mm-hmm. Thanks, you man. Yeah, I will. Yeah, seriously. Play some background music. All right. So who's next? Should I go next? All right, let's go. All right. So Alex gave us a tour of this. I think she. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen. I I honestly I don't mind this, but I I think a lot of buyers are gonna find this a little strange. I think a lot of buyers want the big open spaces. So like if this wall wasn't here, it was a one big open space, I think it'd be a little bit more popular. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think it's still beautiful. I kind of like it. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I love the stone too. Like mm-hmm. this, like, it's here. What is that? Like that is beautiful, beautiful. This is probably a lot, a lot of money. Big sink, love that. And this is really cool. Like so like hey, hey ladies, how do you, how do you pronounce this, this brand? Gaganau? Gaganau. 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 This is super, super high end um, range. Gaganau is very expensive. But look look at that built in, built in knobs into the uh, into the cabinets. That's That's beautiful. Check this out. And the stone backsplash. Check this out. So nobody lives here, I guess. It's been vacant. It's um, never lived in. Have you eat or anything? Nope. So they're just. We did not. Yeah. So. Why is it sold? Why do you. It was built in 2020. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's good. I love a great pool. <laughs> this is a nice pool. It's a very nice pool. I think the only downside of this pool is that there's no grass or a turf, you know? I'm always looking at the downside. But I it's actually nice though, because it doesn't get that hot. Yeah. yeah. And look at this. We have a nice barbecue area. It's a great hosting section. You've got a bar here with the TV, nice surround yeah. sound, watch your sports games. Right. And I kind of like this gradual fall into the pool. Yeah. Right? It looks like oh, it's, it's like an infinity. Yeah, yeah. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's salt? awesome. Yeah, taste it. Come on. It's not salt. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's salty. Is it? What else do you like about this uh, backyard? Well, it actually gets great sun, obviously. For now. Yeah. But I think that's a, that's actually a good point. Because it, it gets good sun right now, obviously, because it's the middle of the day. Yeah. But once it passes this tree right here, in the winter time, it's probably gonna be like one o'clock. You think so? Yeah. Because it's also, it's, it's on this side of the canyon right here. See this hill right here? Yeah. This hill is gonna stop maybe two or three hours of sunlight, direct sunlight. Yeah, I mean, maybe that could be a reason why it's not selling, I think so, you know? yeah. I mean, there's, sure. no view, sure. there's no view. There's no view. Yeah, and this area is known for views, yeah. which is why it's, it, they're only asking 2,000 a foot. The ones that have views are going for 4,500 a foot. It's very private, too, bamboo. I think that's a good point. It's very private. Mm-hmm. So you can be out here naked in the pool <laughs> and nobody will be watching you. Just give me the camera. So oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Watching anybody, camera. Whoever's hacking your, <laughs> hacking your camera system in Africa. Uh, all right. Who's next? Katie Jack? Oh, it's natural. You see there? It's the magic happening. I like the fireplace. Got the surround sound too. Got the these huge sliders open up to have that airflow. Oh, this is the bathroom with the um the water. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. I did see that video. Okay, Jack, show us how it works. Uh, I haven't been here, you guys, but I didn't see the video. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Who wants to get in? Me? Me. How does this work? I love this. Isn't that cool? There's a yeah. his and her, hers, his and his, her, hers and hers, or theirs and theirs. Or, or oh, oh that is. Show that. Show that. How cool is that? Floor to ceiling. Floor to ceiling faucet. Wait, turn that faucet.
Heavy ass. Finger in your head. That's gonna hurt. When you're sitting in there, you turn that on. I'm in like the middle of the freaking tub, dude. Yeah. Maybe back massage. But then you'd be like, splash it away. Hold on. Katie's gotta finish the tour. Stop, stop taking her thunder. Nice big island. I kind of wish the top was glass so that you could put jewelry in it. But I think that looks really nice. This is really big now. This is important for walk-in closets to have the middle area where you have all your drawers and um, jewelry and hats and stuff like that. Yeah. I think this has good space. I like these up here too. Oh, okay, it's pretty. Yeah. Oh. I like these lights. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah, like, look at that. It looks like a showroom. It's it's giant in here too. I mean, this is what developers are putting money into right now is, are these master closets mm -hmm. or, their, or the primary closets. Showing off all your clothes. All your expensive purses, your shoes, your watches, your wallets, your rings. I mean, jeez. You can really accessorize. Even guys are having expensive purses. What do they call it? Was it going across? What do you guys think? Should I get one? Like a Gucci one? Just like put over here. Be manly. Gucci. You look good? Yeah, tell her. He's like, yeah. With your blue glasses. Yeah, yeah. That JJ loves. All right, who's next on the tour? Ben. What happened to Joe? Yeah, Joe. Joe, Joe doesn't like, Joe doesn't like hanging out with us. Let's see what we have here. What's next? All right, Ben's our intern. He's in high school. Can we really get our view in bathrooms? He also won $100. We'll, we'll talk about that in the car later on. You bet I did. So what is this called here? This is a bathroom. But what's it called? Uh, bathroom. It's called the powder room. Powder room. Yeah, it's, a, it's only a half bath. But look at the design cool. elements. It's really, really cool, yes. right? Wheel thing. We have these like European. Yeah, that's. I really go to cool. Denmark all the time. They have these. It's a black. Hood. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, cool. What else we got over here? We have a nice statue. All right, cool. A little indoor outdoor artwork. That's pretty cool. There's that a elevator. Elevator. Yeah. Uh, can I open it? Um, yeah, it, may, it may take a while, but what is this here? What is this? This is what, security room, office, with a bunch of TVs. Yeah. You can see Tara. Tara, we can see We're you. We're watching you. Alex, we can see you. Where are these cameras? Joe, we can see you. No, we can't see you. This probably isn't the most interesting. This would be really funny to like actually spy on people and see what, what they're doing. What is this? Tell me you know people are in your house. That's true. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, okay, so what is this? This is probably the best piece of art we have. What is that? A signed underwear by Andy Warhol. <laughs> Andy Warhol. Is that Andy Warhol? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, he's I know, I saw that. Clinton. That's Bill Clinton. Like he's a creep. <laughs> you, want to, you want to talk about creep? You know what I like Actually, about this house, though? Yeah. Is that the floors Who's are really that? nice. So we've been I seeing agree. a lot of new builds yeah. that yeah. have really. Cheap, cheap floors. floors. I agree. And they have good um, floors down in That's here. That's a good point. And this is actually, like, I feel like that they, they took a risk with this color, but it looks nice. I feel like it's a little lighter than I, I would. Like it. What it's I, I, I like it a lot too. It's a lot more. It's a lot more earthy, right? Yeah. Not earthier. Yeah, it's nice. Where's Joe? Good Joe here. Joe, you're next. You're next. We're gonna record you, and you're gonna give us a tour of the, of the bottom of the house. Bottom of the house? Is bottom that, of the is, house. That, is that a uh, Beverly Hills uh, tunnel? Yeah. The bottom? Yeah. Um, there's the elevator. You need to push the back first. Got it. All right, Joe. There's a tour. All right. Uh, do you, do you, hold on. Do you tour houses as a listing agent in Chicago? Um, periodically. Yeah. So here in LA, if you're a listing agent, you have to be at every single showing to show the house to the buyer and the buyer's agent. In other markets, it's not really a thing, but in this market, it's it's become the uh, the the custom. So in Chicago, you're saying it's not really the custom. It just it just depends. Like our team shows all of our property. Also, oh, you're you guys do it. We do it. Okay, gotcha. So that's like a it's like a, a, it's like a, a value. value. It's a value. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's get to it. The basement. So Joe Kotosh has his has his own team called Windy City Agents out of Chicago with with uh, with Compass. Right. He's part of the sports and entertainment division. What brings you here, Joe? Uh, well, I am, uh, I'm now licensed in uh, California. An hour. But make sure you check out this house. 
1049 Loma Vista Drive in Beverly Hills, listed by uh, Lamerica, Lamerica Real Estate. Paul Wiley is the agent, and Rick Albert is the broker associate. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching. If you guys um, want to watch any more of this, make sure you, you drop a comment down below and hit the subscribe button. See you guys later.